You know how everything is 6.5% more expensive than it was same time last year? Well, Fed officials now said this, that they expect inflation to drop all the way to 3.5%, aka they think that what they're doing is going to work. You let me know in the comments whether or not you think that this is actually going to happen, which would be great for the stock market, which has been absolutely getting smoked all year with the rate hikes. But if we get to this 3.5%, they're shooting for about 2 to 3%. That would be very close. But we want to see what's going on here and why they're saying these things. So here goes your boy Jerome Powell. Guess what? And why he's related to this picture, because he's the guy who has been the face of the rate hikes, which have been crashing the market. And they're saying this, that retail sales fall by 1%, which is the biggest monthly drop since December. But you know what? This looks like a good thing because demand is coming down. The same way that your boy Jerome Powell wants it to come down so inflation can come down so they can actually get it to that 3.5%. But you know what? Hold up. If the economy is slowing down and it actually slows down too much, guess what, family? It's very likely that we're going to be in a hard recession. It doesn't mean that it will happen. But this is a sign and the market is up in the air as to is this good news that demand is coming down or is demand coming down too fast and then the economy won't grow. So we got to pay attention. And you know who's paying attention? The United States government, baby. And what are they doing? They're helping you out. How? By Unusual Wells just posted this. They said the U.S. is planning to announce another Ukraine aid package on Friday. Now, that's, you let me know how you feel about that, family. But... This episode is brought to you by the Moomoo Investing app. You can get 15 free stocks when you use the link in the description. You can see how to get all 15 right here. It's free money. There's no need to delay. You start your journey today. And speaking of that, speaking of everything that's going on with these rate hikes, let's take a second and let's just keep it real. Let's keep it raw, family. We see what the priorities are from the powers that be. They're not necessarily prioritizing their own citizens. And again, I'm not going to get political or anything like that, but I know that there are people who need help. There are people who are homeless. There are people who are veterans who need just aid with their insurance. There's so much going on in this world, right? There are everyday people who are paying $10 just for some eggs. You know what I'm saying? $20 for some broccoli and cauliflower, right? The prices is getting out of hand. So the people need the aid, but we see what's going on. So what I want you to do is I want you to switch gears. It's 2023. We can't play around anymore. We got to think like this. And I posted this in 2022, but I want to just put this in front of you to motivate you to take it another step further and i said this do me one favor this weekend it doesn't have to be this weekend though no? that project that you've been sitting on i want you to start it i want you to create that podcast i want you to create that youtube channel that you started i just talked to one of my guys tj the goat he just started his youtube channel journey and he's he's going strong and I, shout out to you big dog i want everybody who's listening to this to take a step and actually do that thing that you were going to do. Whether it be you're starting a diet, start today. Whether it be you're going to hit the gym or you're going to write a book, whatever it is, family, I want you to go and start it. If you were thinking about picking up some more hours at your job, you were thinking about going and driving Uber, if you were thinking about going and babysitting, whatever it is, you got to take advantage. Because if they're going to send us into an economic downturn, then we're going to see prices on stocks that we've never seen before. Now, I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm saying this to prepare you. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Say it with me again, the five Ps. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. And then I said this, whatever it may be, I want you to start walking in your own greatness because you deserve it. Whether it be you want to get back into doing your art, and whether it be you want to start learning how to read the charts, if you want to, to learn how to do stock options or learn how to invest in a crypto or anything, I want you to go and do the research and put the time in today and start your journey, family, because again, we're going to start seeing prices is very likely with all of the news coming out that we've never seen in our lives. And I want you to be able to succeed there. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to succeed and I want you to succeed as well. But you got to pay attention. It won't just happen to you, family. You got to make it happen. So now what do we got to look at? I want you to take a look at this. And yes, this is Tesla, and these are the price projections on Tesla, but I want you to take it a step further because I want to stay in tune with this message, how I want you to start today. Maybe you wanted to learn how to do research on stocks. This app right here is called Tip Ranks, right? I don't have any links for Tip Ranks or anything like that, but it's called Tip Ranks. And you can look up Tip Ranks and go look up Tesla, and you can see what are the analysts saying about it, right? They're saying 
Super Bowl case, they see it going past 700, right? Maybe that's far-fetched. They say on average it's going to 230, and on the low it's going to 85. You can start your research by saying, hmm, what are the people at the big banks? What are the people in private equity? What are they saying, right? And let's look at other stocks too. Let's look at Coinbase. And they're saying that, you know what? At the current price, Coinbase, they feel it's worth $56, even though right now it's $50. And they're saying on the low, it's worth $30. So let's keep on in tune with Coinbase. And let's use this as an example. When we go and we look at them, it's saying nine of them are saying you should buy it as it is. I'm not saying you should buy, hold, or sell. I just want to help you to walk into your own greatness so you can understand, okay, this is what I need to look at in stocks, especially in a recession. So let's start here. Let's look. What is What are the institutions saying? What are the big dogs saying? What are the analysts saying? Nine, nine said buy, nine said hold, and five said sell. Overall, they're saying hold Coinbase if you have it. Am I saying that? No. I see Coinbase as more of a trade in a recession then I see it as an investment. And I'll explain what that means in a little bit. But you can go and look for free and see, all right, who it was. What analyst was this? Where did they work for? Like Citigroup said it's going to 80. Wed Bush said it's going to 75. This was two months ago, two months ago, one month ago. And then you have uh, Raymond James down here. And they said, basically, you should sell it. Family, and that was three months ago that they said this. Look at this. Three months ago down here, they said sell it. And Actually, it seemed like they was on point with that. And they're not always going to be on point, but you could start by saying, okay, this is what the analysts think. Now, let me go a little step further and let me go and check. How are they doing today? Ooh, they down. They down. Come on down. <laughs> You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. They're coming down. However, I pressed the button, but I don't really think the price is right yet because I see this as a trade, not an investment. And I'll tell you why in a second. So look at this. It's down 7% in a day. The stock market, the average return over the last 100 years is basically... One or I'm sorry, 10% family, 10% in the last 100 years. What is this telling me? This thing is dropping faster than something would normally drop in the market. You might see some years the market entirely would drop, let's call it 20%, even right. In some years, you'll see it up 20%. However, on average, in the last 100 years, it's been 10%. So to see something move like this to the downside in a day, it's a little alarming, right? So let's see. How can we make money here? That's what you want to ask yourself, right? That's why you be looking at something like this. So we see we got to go and look at the P.E. ratio like I've been trying to stress for a long time. And look, it's not even there. If the P.E. ratio wasn't there, the price to earnings ratio, this means this company is not profitable. And what is that telling me? That's telling me that I should not invest. This is telling me if you want to invest, that's fine. And maybe Coinbase will graduate again into an investment, meaning long term, you set it and forget it. But as it stands now, with no profitability during a bear market, this is just a trade. So let's see. When Bitcoin is up like crazy, Coinbase is one of the stocks that takes off. Right. And you can see how profitable they were and then how unprofitable they went. So when it was profitable back when Bitcoin was really high, guess what? This thing was almost earning four dollars a share. And then it came all the way down just in two quarters later, family, to losing about five dollars a share. So this is crazy volatile. I would not put my life savings into something like this, but I would trade something like this, meaning I'm trying to buy low and I'm trying to sell it high. So now let's see. What are the big dogs doing? Kathy Wood, right? Remember, when you're looking at a stock, you want to see what are the institutions doing? What are the what are the, the basics of the fundamentals? Is this company even profitable, right? You want to see if they make it money or not. So let's look. Kathy Wood, ARK Invest. Now, let's be clear. Kathy has been getting absolutely smoked. Bruh. Smoked. She's been buying a dip and buying a dip. But in my opinion, she's been buying it too soon. Now, look at this. She bought three point three million dollars worth of coinbase and i'm gonna show you more details on that but just recently as of about january 6th between that date and january 12th family she's been buying about take a look at this number down here it says seventy four thousand shares of coinbase look at that seventy four thousand shares of coinbase now me personally seeing this as a trade i would never go that deep into it but i look at the rest of the institutions i'm on fintel dot io fintel f-i-n right fintel dot io and you can see that look at this red i'm looking at the institutional ownership many companies are selling it selling out of it totally there are some that are buying in for the first time and of companies and institutions that have had it they're loading up a little bit but by and large 
people are trading this, the institution. They're either selling out of it or buying it for the first time to get out of it soon. So again, I don't dislike Coinbase, but in a recession, and when they think the recession is going to get deeper, and then they think the United States is actually sending money overseas in this kind of environment with rate hikes, with Sam Bankman freed, with everything going on with FTX, you got to think to yourself, am I trading a certain stock or am I, or am I investing into it, right? So now let's go back to this and let's just check it out. So I see big dogs is trading it, right? They selling it, they buying it, but they're not holding on to it. So then this makes me think this. Let's go look at the top 10 holders of Coinbase. And again, there's much deeper research you could do into the financials, into the cash flow of a company. But this is something that I want to show you so that you could start have an idea and see what's going on with this company and get a general idea before you dig deeper. So now, Vanguard, the second largest asset manager in the entire world. You know what? They've been picking up over 2 million shares of it as of the last quarter. BlackRock, the largest institution or the largest asset manager, let's call it, in the world, they picked up 1.9 million. They increased their position by over 40%, and Vanguard increased their position by 19%. So this is telling me that they are probably doing what? They're probably averaging down because they probably had it at a really, really high level. Now, remember, we just saw that it said that Kathy Wood, and let me just zoom out of this, it said that she was buying $3 million worth of Coinbase, right? But when we go here and we look at the last quarter, we can see that they are the second largest holder at ARK Invest. And they sold over 1.2 million of them, family. So when you go and you look and you dig deeper, you don't just jump in just because they are starting to buy a little bit back, comparatively speaking, right? We got to be able to read through that fine print. So now I see Coinbase as a trade. This means I would trade the options on it. I would buy low. I would sell high. I would try to make money on the way down with the put options. I would not invest into it long term at this current level. Now, if we get into a bull market and then we start to see it turning a profit, boom, then that's when we like Coinbase, when it's a profitable company. But in a recession, we got to stay away. In my personal opinion, I'm not trying to give you financial advice, but this is how I'm rolling out. I'm not going to invest into a company that's not profitable in a recession. That's not the way that I'm getting down. So now. Let's check this. We see that it's down 79% on the all time, family, all time. Absolutely getting smoked. But again, even still, with the price being so low, remember, Coinbase used to be a $400 stock. With the price being so low, it still is not having a profitable quarter at this point, and the P ratio still doesn't exist. So this means that there's still a chance for it to come even lower because they are not earning cash. But what could turn this around? Bitcoin going on a run would turn this right around. So then we want to look at the levels, right? Because we want to trade with the chart and not with our heart. We don't want to get married to the idea of, oh man, you know what? Coinbase, they're not doing well. We, uh, uh, uh. we don't want to get married to none of that. We want to trade with the chart and not with our heart. So let's look at the charts and see what it's telling us. It's telling us that Coinbase has a support level at about $47. Under there, your boy, Kenny Grace, is looking at puts. That don't mean you're going to buy puts. Make sure you understand how to trade so you can make money on the way down. And if it breaks above 55, then it's almost a clear shot to 60 and 65. So then I'll be looking more towards the call options, family. But again, we can never forget what kind of market we're dealing with and what are we in right now. And they're saying that U.S. stocks fall after data showing the cooling economy. Cooling economy means we're getting closer and closer to a recession in this environment. Now, they're saying that the January rally is losing its steam. So this means that this rally was more so of a FOMO rally, right? The fear of missing out. So what I want you to do is do this. Like I said before, I want you to start your journey. I want you to be able to look at a stock and say, yo, am I ready to invest in this or am I trading this, right? I want you to really be educated. And I want you to push forward again with that podcast, with that YouTube channel, with everything, family. I want you to really get it going. I want you to believe in yourself and I want you to bet on yourself because when you bet on yourself in a time, where everything is cheaper and lower in price and getting lower than when everything is back up where it was before and we're in a strong bull market, you'll be the one ready to succeed, whether it be that side hustle or anything like that. Now, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. But if you can't throw the heat in these hot stocks and stay out of the kitchen, consider investing in index funds. I'll be doing a live stream tomorrow on the Discord. The link is in the description. You can join the Discord. It's $10. And we live trade over there. And I got it like a whole university teach you about dividend stocks, saving, budgeting, Everything, family, dollar cost averaging, way more bot alerts. I see you over there, but you already know what time it is. Take care.